this is Marie McCabe doing an oral history interview for Historic Madison Incorporated on April 25th, 1984. I'm talking today to Edith Sinaiko Frank. Uh, Mrs. Frank, will you tell me about your parents? My father's name is I-S-A-A-C, Sinaiko, S-I-N-A-I-K-O. My mother's name was Sarah Goldberg, and she was from Milwaukee. And uh, how long had they lived in Madison? They were married in 1901, October 1901. And came here then? Yeah, well, she lived in Milwaukee. He, he was, my father was born in, uh, in Russia and came as a young man, a young boy. And uh, then he looked for a wife in Milwaukee. There weren't any around Madison for him, so. Uh, when did he come to the United States? In the 1890s. Oh, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And he lived in Milwaukee for No, a while? he never lived in Milwaukee. He lived in Madison all Oh, he did? Mm -hmm. He came right to Madison. Mm -hmm. Do you know why he happened to come here? Well, that's the... He had. He was one of several brothers. They all settled here. Had they known about it in advance? Well, they had relatives, some close well, cousins in Milwaukee, and they came to Madison. I'm very happy they didn't stay <laughs> go to New York. And what did he uh, do here? They had Sinaiko Brothers Company, which was in Cor well, no, it was in Corbett. It was a partnership in 1897 when all the brothers were here, and which has since been sold. None of the brothers are alive, of course, and. Uh, Let's see, uh, it was Seneca Brothers Company. They had oil and gas later, and, and it was Scrap Metal Company. The, the people who bought it still use the name. Uh, where was it located? 30 North Murray, Murray Street. Murray? Oh, Murray, where uh -huh. the railroad tracks are. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And what were the brothers' names? Well, the oldest brother, who didn't come when the younger brothers came, was named Alex, and he came in about 96, I think, with with eight children, okay. and uh, then the next oldest who was the, uh, was Sam Seneco, and then my father was next, and then there was Albert, Saul, and William, and one sister. Oh, and what was her name? And the, her name was Mrs. Sinegub, S-I-N-A-G-U-B, and she only had one son who has passed away. Mm. What was her first name? Well, her name was... Uh, I mean, well, they, she had her pet name, her Russian name was uh, Yenti, oh. or Ye like uh, Yentl, uh -huh. the same as Barbara yeah. Streisand. Uh -huh. And the old grandmother lived with her, who was a widow for, as a young widow with all those children. And the reason she came, she didn't want her sons to go into the army. Uh -huh. That's why so many came in those days, in the Russian army. And they set up this business right away? Well, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as far as I know, right away, yeah. So they had some capital and well, they didn't need much in those some days. Some ambition. Well, they had ambition. They worked very hard. Uh -huh. And so, your uh, how did your father and mother meet? Well, there was somebody who lived here who knew my mother's family in Milwaukee, and she thought that'd be a beautiful match, and it turned out to be very nice. Oh, good. And so, when where did they live when they came to Madison? Well, they when they first came. They lived near where the Madison General Hospital is for a couple of years, and then they moved to Emerald Street, and that's where I, the only place I remember. And uh, it was all, wasn't, there weren't any, hardly any houses there then. It was to the other side of Alice Park, mm -hmm. oh. Emerald, and, uh, and there was a great big three-story house. It's still there, made into apartments now. Where, did they live there alone with you, with the children? Yeah, well, we had four children. Oh, you did, and, and who were they? Well, I was the oldest. My sister Hazel Marion, M-A-R-Y-A-N, she died in the 69s, and she lived in the family house after her husband died. Who was a, he was a doctor in Chicago, and when he passed away, she moved to Madison. Then my, I, my brother Jerome died two years ago, and my brother Russell is a doctor in Madison. He's the baby, and he's still here. Mm. You probably know him. No, I don't think I do. Russell, he's a surgeon. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, so the the four of you children grew up there together, and you were born when? July 16, 1902, so now you know exactly how old uh -huh. I am. Well, and um, I expect you have some pretty happy memories of that area, or did you move from there when you were little? We moved here, let's see, 
well, over 60 years ago, next door. Oh, uh -huh. But that was, Emerald Street, everybody had a barn. We had a cow, chickens, a horse, and a big carriage, and a pony for the children. And it was really quite rural, big garden. And this was all, nothing was here. Come, uh -huh. One house was here. So you lived there uh, while you were, till you were how old? Till I was in college. We moved here when I was in college. Oh, I see. So you really did grow up there. And, mm -hmm. uh, well, did your mother have some help? Oh, yeah. We, in those days, you could all have sleep-in help, what we used to call a hired girl. Mm -hmm. And well, there was always plenty of room. In fact, that house on Emerald Street was three stories and uh, three bedrooms on the third floor. Is that a frame house? Uh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. You can still see it. Eleven seventeen. Oh. Big well, porch all around the side, and great big barn, which of course isn't there. Who did the gardening? Oh, my mother was a great gardener, and my father could do that. I guess. Oh, I don't know if they had help. I never. Mm -hmm. And you got to ride the horse and the pony? Not me. I wasn't the outdoor type. The kids, the younger ones, did. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't athletic. You asked me about games. I never played games. I was always either reading or practicing. What did you play? The piano. Piano. Oh. Mm -hmm. Did you start very early? Yeah, at four years old. Oh, my goodness. Even oh. My mother played the piano, and so I was always, uh, I was the only one who really got terribly interested in the piano. Did you, did you uh, take lessons? Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. Who was your teacher? Well, I had, when I had a, a, a teacher in, in the, the neighborhood when I was a really little girl, and then I went, when I was, no, oh, I don't know. You little still. We had a Wisconsin School of Music, the mm -hmm. first one, mm -hmm. with Ada Bird, and she was my teacher. She was a really a famous person studied in Europe, and uh, I studied with her till she died. And then I went to the Wheeler School of Music, which was established by that time. Mm -hmm. And I and uh, the teachers. I think we had a teacher come from Chicago once a month. I was supposed to be a pian a professional pianist. That's why. Mm -hmm. a, and then when I was a, quite a small girl, they bought that big piano for me. Mm -hmm. That's, that piano's nearly as old as I am. Is it really? It's in beautiful uh -huh. condition. Yeah, I love it. You, do you still play a lot? Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that you played. Do you play for Bettina once in a while? No, I don't play for Shell's Head, but I play with, I play with, I do a lot of chamber music. I oh. used to anyway. I still play with a cellist once a week. And we, I like chamber music, other people. Mm -hmm. And I belong to the International Chamber Music Players, which has a directory when people come from out of town. I met, they call and then I, we play together, or arrange a, a group. Oh, it's very nice. nice. And when I went back here after my husband died, I did study with Gunnar Johansson. Oh, no, I didn't know anything about your musical. Well, I was a, by, by graduation, uh, my degree was in journalism at the university here, though. Oh, I see. See, I wasn't. But I knew you through the Thai Copra, you know. The yeah, well, I was very and interested in and, all uh, that. And nobody told me that you played the piano. No, I'm well, very happy to know that. Well, it's a source of comfort. So your um, uh, your parents were pretty well off then, I believe. Well, you not, not, not really, but middle class, you know, mm -hmm. middle, middle class, not upper middle class, mm -hmm. not like the the bankers, or the, but, mm -hmm. you know, just hard working. But the made, business was going well. And they uh, made a good living, and, uh, mm -hmm. and I, we lived the same. I, you asked me before to how we lived. I think my parents lived the same as I live now. I mean, even on a tiny income, you know, but a dollar went a long way. Oh, yes, uh-huh. And of course, then later, of course, we had a car. But with four um, children, um, it's... Um, it takes quite a lot to, to Yeah, but we all it. went to school here. We all went to the University of Wisconsin. But to buy clothes even for growing yeah. children and um, and just... But um, people didn't have clothes the way they do now. Well, that's true. Yeah. I was re I was talking to somebody the other day, you know. There was plenty of room in the classes for all of us. Now you can't have enough classes, <laughs> you know. That's true. There's a yeah. big difference. You had one pair of party shoes, one pair of school shoes, and maybe, <laughs> I don't know about tennis shoes, but... Play shoes and uh, school shoes and uh, party shoes. That's all. Now look in your closet. See did how many pairs shoes you have. Did you go barefoot in the summer? Not me. I oh. don't know if the kids did. I was, uh, I was not outdoor at all. Ever. Well, I just thought for comfort's sake, you know, it can get pretty hot here. 
you well, I don't think I ever did. Uh -huh. I, maybe the other children did, but. And your father um, um, rode the horse to work, I presume. Well, I don't know if he, I don't think, we had, a, by the time, I think he, it wasn't far, it wasn't too far, he could walk. Then we had a car when, I, very early. No. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the first one, but the second was a Buick. And I drove when I was 13, so mm -hmm. you see that was. But I don't know that they even had cars, did they, in, before about 1910? Well, that was our second car to be with oh, uh -huh. when I drove there. Uh -huh. But uh, well, it oh, one of my uncles had a steam. He was a bachelor, and he had a steam car, and it must have been e earlier. You know what? The kind you see in the pictures. Oh, an mm -hmm. electric type car. No, it wasn't electric. I don't know what kind of car it was, but I remember it as a very young child. Oh, it was see a little out. Of course, nothing was a closed car. They were all open. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, that must have been a big thrill when you uh, when the first one came along, but you did have um, um, you said you had a furnace and um, coal heat. Yeah, we had a coal bin, you know. Mm -hmm. So you and kept warm in the winter. Oh yes. Did you have those big open registers in the house? Yeah, before we had, before we had. Well, here we had next door when we built this house over 60 years ago. Uh, that had steam heat oh. and then oil heat, but had, ra you radiators. know, radiators. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But I think the first house had uh, registers. Yeah, they used to have those where yeah, they'd come yeah, in and stand right. over them. Uh -huh. yeah. I suppose your mother um, had wore long dresses as they did in those days. Is yeah, I, I, can, I have some way? pictures, but I really don't remember. Uh -huh. But she was a woman suffragette. She founded the, uh -huh. was one of the first founders of the League of Women Voters. She was very active. I never could. I do a lot of things, but nothing like she did. Mm. What What did her family do in Milwaukee? Do you know? His father had a, a, a kind of like a shoe. Uh, they have many shoe factories in Milwaukee, mm. and he was he used to take the surplus and he had sold. He'd go to the shoe factories and as much as I remember. And I remember he was very sickly and he didn't work for many years. Oh, uh -huh. did you go to Milwaukee to see? Oh, him? I always used to go visit. Yeah. I thought, wondered if the whole family went. To oh yeah, we went sometimes too. But we, I remember going on the train when I was really little. Mm -hmm. But then we used to pile in the car and drive. Mm -hmm. well, that was quite so, a long trip in a car. Yeah, we used to pack your lunch, and mm -hmm. before we get out of the city limits, my brothers wanted their lunch. <laughs> <laughs> when do we eat? You know. But the train service was pretty good then. Oh yeah, we had two lines. Mm -hmm. I think yeah, Northwestern and the St. Paul. Yeah, you could get to Milwaukee mm -hmm. fairly. Oh yeah. Early. I used to spend all my vacations there. Um, well, so you um, you said you weren't much for games out in the barn and that. Sort no, of thing. I I did I hardly did ice skating and maybe roller skating, but I never even learned to ride a bicycle. I suppose I was protecting my hands. I don't know oh, the yes. reason. Oh, well, that seems. Because I was brought up to be a musician. Mm -hmm. And if you're you're busy all the time. You don't need some of these other things. And I, but my sister, was you know, they used to play games, you know, hide and go seek and all those things. But I think I, oh, I played jacks, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. At school, I presume. Yeah. Stuff like that. But none of the outdoor things. I didn't even play tennis. So who were your neighbors out around there? In the well, house? you see, that neighborhood, well, Erin Street and Ambrose Street, you can see there are many Catholic families there. And uh, very well, of course, it was pretty sparsely. Uh, our neighbor, I remember, the closest neighbor house was somebody by the name of Dyer, D Y. I think that the son had started Dyer Shoe Store. I'm oh. not sure. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, a lot of the, many of the children went to uh, from Rainbow Street. They went to St. James mm. School, and then the rest we we went to Longfellow, which was oh, did you? Uh -huh, mm -hmm. Until I went to Randall, but mm -hmm. then I. Uh, Went along, well, went along, so, which is a nice little, a very good principal they have. She was marvelous. Now that's that one is the one um, is that near Madison General. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't any, it wasn't that building. It was. Oh. We had a. There had been years before a little tiny building, but then there was a. Well, the one they just made into apartments, over there on uh, Wilson Street. This is a twin building of that white. 
Oh. With, uh, but that's been knocked down. Mm -hmm. That's where it was, a two-story building. Mm -hmm. But on that same location? Yeah, but not at the hospital site, closer to Mill Street. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's where that was. Oh, yeah. And, and the rest was playground, you know. There was kindergarten then, I suppose? Well, I didn't go to kindergarten, but it was kindergarten later. Oh, uh-huh. They didn't have a kindergarten when I went. Uh-huh. Okay, but, so you uh, started there in first grade. Mm -hmm. Did they have eighth grade? Mm-hmm. So you went there from first through eighth. Yeah, one of my teachers, one of my favorite teachers, was Betty Kurtnacker's mother, Mrs. Gay, her name was it. Oh. Uh -huh. and then they lived right next door here. In fact, the Gays built our house. They were in the, she married Mr. Gay later. After. She was a young widow. Oh, she was a marvelous teacher. And do you remember others? Other well, teachers? the principal, yeah, I remember a couple of others. Uh, Miss Reichert was a principal and another teacher, I think she was my seventh or eighth grade teacher, I can't remember her name, but Garboyle. But she died not, you know, since I'm back, I think, oh, uh -huh. in the last uh, mm -hmm. 20 years. Oh. And you were able to walk to school? With oh, yeah, everybody walked to uh -huh. school. In the wintertime, wasn't it pretty cold? Well, you had boots. And nobody took you to school. You didn't have snowsuits, though. How did you keep warm? Well, what did we wear? I can't remember, but we were all with plenty warm. You wore long stockings, mm -hmm. you didn't wear socks, mm -hmm. and boots, and uh, warm long coat. coat I long suppose, coat, I mm -hmm. Bundled up. I can't remember sheepskin coats, though, but, or uh, the way they have now, down mm -hmm. coats, but... Uh, woolen ones. But mm -hmm. they had woolens, mm -hmm. yeah. And um, did you go home for lunch, I suppose, then? Yeah, I, I think we did, yeah, as far as I know. And since you were the oldest, why, then you sort of ushered the younger ones back and forth, I suppose. Oh, well, they were pretty self-sufficient. <laughs> <laughs> they always had a gang of friends. And, and uh, I see the, uh, a lot of people I went to school with are uh, still around here. Oh, which uh, one? You know Florence Dvorak? You know, mm -hmm. for her husband was a band leader. Uh, oh, the Hunt family. Yeah. yeah, they were our neighbors. And, uh, they, oh, what was I, her name then? Hunt, Florence Hunt. Hunt. But the, she was the youngest of all the sisters. I knew they had a couple, one brother, that's all, who was my brother's best friend. And then, uh, let's see, who else? I see people who, uh, the girl from Monroe, um, I don't even remember her name now, her married name. Uh, I saw her at some music conference and uh, said, we went to school together. Oh. <laughs> she lived on bills. A lot of her uh, was very interesting. I suppose they stay around. And well, most of them stayed around, around. yeah. A lot have moved away, but uh -huh. once well, in a while you run into somebody. I run into a lot of people I went to high school with. Yes, I will. We'll yeah, come to course, that because yeah. I'm sure you'll remember some of those the, the prominent names in town. Yeah, the day students. We only had one high school then, Central. Mm -hmm. And later there was University High School where oh, my yeah. brother went, my youngest brother went. But Well, did you um, um, enjoy school and did you go? Oh, and yes, I was. Uh, I like school. You were a pretty good student, I imagine. Well, I don't know. I, uh, I never made Phi Beta Kappa. But, <laughs> but you went through um, um, well, I went regular to path through eighth grade. And, and uh, then Central High. And then, uh, mm -hmm. of course, I was always carrying two, two subjects with the music on the side, you know. Oh, yes. I had mm -hmm. two degrees. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I, I, but I was married the day after I graduated college, so. I really oh. never had a career. I see. Well, um, back at your room, I, I was wondering about your very earliest memories of Madison, about uh, how big it seemed, and um, they had, didn't they have still streetcars? Well, I don't remember horse cars, but I remember streetcars, because mm -hmm. they ran on Mill Street. Oh, they did? Uh, I remember streetcars, of course the streetcar tracks before the buses. And Madison was, uh, if you, to me, the uh, the square and State Street all is East Washington, West Washington. It's the same format. And of course, I have terribly interested in city planning and everything like that, so I... I uh, did you go to, when you, when you were small, young, did you get down to the square very often? Well, we used to go to the movies. Oh. And... Uh, of course, and when it went through the capital, then my mother was very active in city affairs. For instance, they had, I was just thinking the other day, I found some postcards, I don't know where they are, I should get
given to the historical society. She was one of the founders of the first safe and sane Fourth of July because there were so many people, children hurt by firecrackers, mm -hmm. really terrible yeah. accidents, and they had a parade. And I have pictures of the floats. And uh, the what year would that have been? Well, about? I must have been awfully early. I, I don't know. Maybe 1910. I really don't know, but oh. I might have the date if I could find those postcards. Mm -hmm. But the, they had floats and got people interested in us. They call it safe and sane Fourth of July. And they never left. It made a big impression on me because I never oh, forgot I it. I think so. I didn't realize that they worried about it that early. Yeah. Well, that was the they were way they were way ahead. Of, okay. That was one of my mother's projects. She had many projects like that. Did she, um, uh, you said she had a hired girl. Um, yeah, they, the girls mm -hmm. used to want to come to Madison to work from the farms. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and they, she had, they helped they, they the, stayed in the uh, house. The cooking and cleaning and... Uh, well, they, you know, they helped with the general housework. Mm -hmm. as, far, as long as I can remember, we had a wash machine. Oh, you did? So we didn't have hand washing. Would that, what kind would that have been? Well, I think the name was Speed Queen. Oh, really? Yeah, I think that's what it was. But you know, uh, would have been a ringer uh, wash machine. A ringer wash machine, uh -huh. yeah. But it had a motor. And you, but you know, no uh, dryer. You had to hang the clothes outside. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, in the winter, what did you do with the clothes? Well, we had a great big basement. Oh, so you hang them there. I, I don't room. know if they hung clothes there, and I can't remember. And I don't know if there were laundries in Madison. Then I, I, I didn't pay much attention to no, that kind no. of stuff. Well, my mother-in-law used to always hang her clothes in the attic in the winter, but uh, no, we didn't the basement have is handier uh -huh. and warm. And yeah, it was warm. warm. The yeah. furnace was We there. always did that. Yeah, so, but uh -huh. I think that's what they did. And you, the, you said you thought she had a cook stove uh, in the kitchen. In the early days, I'm sure. But uh -huh. I remember a gas stove, a big gas stove, you know, with, on the side with the oven on the side. Oh. You know, those, uh, and you had an ice box, I suppose. We, originally, I remember an ice box where they... The ice man put the ice in from outside. Mm -hmm. You know that I remember because we, we we didn't have the electric refrigerator till we moved over here. Mm -hmm. That's that been a little bit it was a Western Electric with the the water on top and lasted forever. Oh, yeah. It was really good. Oh. And of course, there was no radio when I was a little girl. Did you uh, was it was the park here? Did you? Oh, uh, you know that I don't remember too much of the park. Isn't that funny? I think they started the zoo. I don't know the dates I when they started it, but of course the Vilases gave the land, and, and, and Madison's a wonderful place. The Brittingham gave the Brittingham gave that, and Teddy's gave the other park. I lived in cities where nobody gave a park at all. And no parks were named after anybody. Nobody well, gave I land. I remember uh, hearing that um, there was a very active association in Madison. Park, park and, and Pleasure, Pleasure yeah. Association, yeah, and, and they proposed saving yeah, they, that. Yeah. It really was land, really yeah. was nice, mm -hmm. but I I don't remember just when it happened. Yeah, but I think Madison, because uh, I lived in Charleston, West Virginia. My husband was transferred there, and I and they had so many very wealthy people. There wasn't one park named after anybody. Oh. Nobody gave any land. Nobody they just used it for coal fields and well, stuff. You have to get somebody to sponsor to the, those yeah. things, I think. But my mother is very interested in all those projects, and uh, for instance, they they started a called a community union, and they wanted a board, so they had, I remember I was a little girl, and they had uh, whoever nominated the people. They had their pictures in the paper, and then you had to vote for somebody. My mother was the only woman who voted for that. Oh. That was really interesting. <laughs> they, before now they have a community, oh. but they oh. called it the community union. Mm -hmm. That was interesting. So you were impressed with, um, from very early on. I yeah, think. and that's the cultural things, too. Do, uh, community yeah, because service. I you know. think so. Mm -hmm. But I always was interested in Did you swim? In historic. In well, I wasn't a good swimmer. I really didn't do any of the outdoor. The kids did, you know. Well, they used to swim. And, and boat? You were fairly close to the lake. Yeah, they were. But I, I really didn't do any of those things. I, I was even, as I said, either reading or practicing. <laughs> well, those things are good, too. You well. Know. And I guess I wasn't the robust type, so anyway, too. You were healthy, though. Well, I suppose so. You don't remember uh, childhood illnesses? Oh, yeah. I was a, I had scarlet fever and had the little children. My brother, baby brother, was just a couple months old. So they uh, sent me to the, we had a, a contagious hospital. 
on East Washington Avenue. Mm -hmm. There's something there now, some university psychological. Oh, this yeah. building is still there, but they had an old building then. And I had to go to the, well, as a little girl to the Contagious Hospital. It was, but that's uh, a long time ago. Anything else you remember having? Oh, well, everybody had tonsils in those days. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have um, measles and things where they put the sign on the door? Yeah, they used to put a sign on the door, oh. I think. Yeah, I can't think I remember that. Well, the uh, red sign or something, mm -hmm. stay away. Yeah. I had that too. Well, was your um, um, a father home? Um, oh, he uh, was a real homebody. But he was. But he'd take us to this. We had the county fair in those days, which was really fun, mm -hmm. where the Coliseum is now. And they had those little sulky horse races, and he took us to everything, and then he would let us try for prizes, and he'd always win something, you know, uh -huh. for prizes. And uh -huh. He always came home late, and so that was a big thing. And then the circus came to town and have a parade, you know. And we always go to the parade. Big thing. Uh -huh. yeah, did you have a parade on Memorial Day, remember? Well, that I don't, I don't really remember. Do you remember ever marching in a parade yourself? I remember the school children used to march on Memorial Day to the cemetery and bring flowers. Mm -hmm. I remember marching. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if that was from Randall or from the Longfellow, because uh, when we used to march, they were, you know, they, we had Memorial Day. And then we used to celebrate Arbor Day, to, oh, to planting more. I mean, we did at home because my mother was a big believer in gardens, and she was active. We used to have a very active women's club in Madison in the old days, oh. and she was very active in that. And, mm -hmm. you know, Better Homes and Garden, they called. She started the project to have the, in the old Ninth Ward there, to have those, the gardens, and mm -hmm. the seed companies gave them plants and seeds. And mm -hmm. She worked with the, on a state committee, oh, the state wonderful. women. That was very interesting. Yeah, she and she was a great gardener. That's my religion. See, this was her yard. And along the back there, I'll show you, the flowers are out. But she loved wildflowers. She had these wildflowers. They're coming up now oh. after all those years. Oh, and the grapes my nice. father planted are oh. in the back. Oh, that's marvelous. So yeah, that's uh, to uh, remember. Well, those. now that stuff is, I know some little, they're not trillium, but there's some little flowers already out that she had planted. The blood root is out, I know. Uh -huh. Little white ones. Yeah. Well, um, what about um, our discipline in your in your uh, house with the children? I don't remember anybody getting a spanking. I don't know. Uh, my father was pretty easy going with he them. Was, uh -huh. and, uh, and he was quite a bit older than my mother. And uh, so I, I don't remember anybody. Of course, I never got a spanking because I, I wasn't. You were a good little girl. <laughs> yeah, maybe my sister and brothers who were, you know, more mischievous. Uh -huh. they, it sounds like your mother was a pretty strong-minded character. She probably well, she was very gentle, though. Kept things in hand. But uh -huh. she didn't... Uh, Did you do have any uh, family games that you played together? Well, I used to like to play school. I'd have... That was... We'd play school. Mm -hmm. That's what I did with, the, with my sister and brother. I was wondering about your parents, if they played games with you. Well, I don't know, I suppose, what games would they have. Checkers. Oh, croquet. We always had croquet. Oh, okay. and we had a side yard over uh -huh. Maybe had croquet. Any card games? Well, I can't remember them playing bridge, but uh, they played casino and stuff like mm -hmm. that. We used to do that. Now uh, winter, winter evenings, and um, and you're they belong to the um, a church or synagogue. The synagogue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which? Well, one? there wasn't any Sunday school anything when I was a little girl. Oh no. There wasn't. Uh, they really didn't have really have a, they didn't have Bethel or any of those. Where did they, they had a little, well, I really didn't go any. They had a little Orthodox temple near the hospital in those days. Oh. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but maybe 10 Jewish families. I don't think there were more than that. Is that right? Because when I was a little girl, I think there were only two or three Jewish families. Well, well what about the Gates of Heaven? That was the, the earliest um, uh, synagogue, I thought, in the state. Oh, that was all. That was already closed by that time. Oh, because that was a few 1848 German influx of Jews who came. I see. And, and then, the, but then there were so few. In fact, the doctor who delivered me, Doctor Mack, uh, 
was part of the wall to that time. But then right after that it, it closed. There weren't any because they were all intermarried. The Thuring years, I don't know. If, how long have you lived here? You moved over to uh, the park. And I worked on that too to save it. But uh, I still think it should have been left where it was and the bank should have used it the way they did in New York with the uh, church. They should have had that for, they could use it for a conference center or something. I think it should have been left in the build around it. Okay. I, I was sorry about that, but it's a good place. Well, it's, um, uh, but you didn't go there. No, this because was that was no longer that, that was no longer functioning and uh -huh. early we, they didn't, uh, they were just, I don't think there are more than six German Jewish families. Well, well Mr. Clauber, I didn't remember, but I knew remember his, his sister, or no, was his daughter, I suppose. Sophie Clauber, but never married, but lived here. But, but she uh, never married, and uh, and and he was uh, one of the presidents of the historical society. Mm. Who were some of the other families in that? Uh, well, there was a family called Kalen, K A I L E N. Well, you know, uh, did you know Elizabeth Link? No. You know Carl Link's wife? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, she was a her uh, her her mother was a Kalen. That oh. that was one of the. They were the. Uh, Jewish family who lived mm -hmm. here about the same time. And in fact, it was her grandmother who introduced my mother to my father. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, and, but there were very, very few of that. And, but there were several. Rabbi Swarzynski did uh, some research on the early Jewish community, and he wrote a little pamphlet oh, on yeah. it. The other uh, Sinaiko families went there. I yeah, the Sinaiko, so. that, oh. that's all we, uh, you know, we had, they all had several children, and but you Pretty didn't close. have a, a Sunday school? Oh, no, no, or, no, or no, 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 we, no, we, then we had, uh -huh. that was many years later. They had, where did they, oh, they used to meet in Barron's store. Oh, they did? Yeah, uh -huh. oh, Mr. Uh -huh. Joe Rothschild was active. Then they bought where the Quaker church is now, mm -hmm. and uh, right here behind the bank, behind the Randall Bank. Oh. And uh -huh. then they, that was Bethel, and then Beth Israel is conservative, not reformed. Mm -hmm. See, but I'm not, uh, I pay dues, but I never go. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't have that in the record, should I? Oh, that's all right. And I, uh, um, but I'm very interested in, uh, in genealogy and, and uh, as you know, because I was interested in take over too, because I did that in other cities, but uh, where I lived. But the thing is that, uh, then they did put me on the board of the Wisconsin Society for Jewish Learning oh. to be their archives chairman. Because we have those, their archives are here in the Historical Society. Well, you know uh, Sarah Luchter. No, I don't think I do. Well, she was one of those presidents of the Spice Jew. Really? Uh -huh. mm. I must have met historic her. Historic Madison. Well, she was a president, yeah. But yeah. she's in the Historical Society, and oh. she, mm -hmm. she's in charge of those archives. Mm. Partly, that's part of her. Well, um, what did you do on holidays? Did your family all get together, or um, did you have uh, family... Didn't well, I I suppose I I think we used to get together a lot, yeah. And you remember in, that whether your parents entertained anybody besides the family? Oh yes, I can't hardly remember a, a meal alone. We all had company, oh. and then my mother had four sisters, and there was always one of them visiting us and staying with us a long From time. From Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, yeah, that must have been fun. Yeah, and in fact, one of me went to school here. And you had you had uh, plenty of room and uh, oh yeah, it was such a big house. Well, that must have been. Fun. But even people who didn't have big houses always had relatives. Oh. So I was, and I, and I'm still in that tradition. I love to have company. Oh, that's good. But uh, well, what were the um, kinds of subjects you had in school in grade school? Oh, the three R's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really, we had a good background, mm -hmm. spelling and. Reading and writing and mm -hmm. some some history, I suppose. And oh, yeah, history. The regular mm -hmm. curriculum of those mm -hmm. days. Did you have? Um, it um, was very. It was pretty classes? modern. It was pretty uh, pretty advanced. Oh. As I think now, think of my grandchildren's uh, schooling. I think we had, it was, well, in high school too. We they put out Shakespeare plays and stuff. Now they don't. What they read? When I see my grandchildren's reading lists, they're completely different. Mm -hmm. Well, they have maybe one Shakespeare play or something, but mm -hmm. but they don't do too much with the 
No, Dickens are, no not Dickens. They, they do the modern, uh, mm -hmm. you know, Salinger yeah. and, you know, name it, oh, but, which yeah. is all right. But I think if you don't do the classics when you're young, it's pretty hard to get involved. But when you're la later on, you're too involved with your... That's right. Mm -hmm. You don't have the background Yeah, you don't it, get it. And nobody ever has to memorize poetry now. Always. Isn't that a shame? Yeah, because I remember we used to memorize poetry. That nobody does that anymore. Mm -hmm. And that have, was fun. Did you have sort of class days at the end of the year and everybody recite? Oh, I can't remember that, but we used to march out. I used to play the piano for the children to march out at recess. And mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember I could still play that march. <laughs> Same march every time. That and they marched perfect. out to music. They marched, they were so orderly. <laughs> and then did they come back in the same way? Well, I, I can't remember the coming in, but... <laughs> did you go out for recess then yourself? Well, I suppose, oh. but I I wasn't playing in the playground very much. Oh. Did you have a gym? Yeah, we had, oh sure. And I played basketball, believe it or not, but not very good. Mm -hmm. I can give you one reminiscence. reminiscence. We were playing another school, I don't remember which one, Draper or something, and our coach, and I don't remember who she was, a nice young girl, said, you want our team to win, don't you? I said, of course, said, well then, I won't put you in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but it never bothered me, but I remember it so well. Oh, I bet you were a little bit hurt at the time. Well, I, no, I knew I wasn't very good, uh -huh. but I did play basketball. Uh -huh. And I suppose you skipped rope and... Oh yeah, that I did. I played, I played uh, hopscotch. Mm -hmm. That I liked, oh, yeah. hopscotch. Mm -hmm. They make the design on the sidewalk. I think the children still do that. Mm -hmm. I imagine they do. Uh -huh. I see that a little bit of that. Uh -huh. Not as much. I don't think they have as And the boys on. played b with marbles, you know that. They, yeah. uh, did you fly kites? Well, I suppose so. The I, they did, yeah. Uh -huh. And they played ball, I presume. And, uh, oh, yeah, these ball. played ball and all those games after school. You know, Probably climbing in the barn, as you said, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, we had a big barn. <laughs> Who took care of the horse and the cow? What did you do with them? Well, I, I think my father used to leave the... In fact, I think he used to leave the cow... This was all vacant here. It's a pasture, and people would bring their cow. And that's where he you fell... here near yeah, the park. Yeah, I mean, that's why he fell in love with this place oh. to buy the lot, to build a house, that's, and as I recall. You used to to graze over here. Yeah, and then uh, everybody did that. And, and then, then did you milk the cow? Well, I guess, I don't know who, uh, he did a, these girls from the country, I suppose they could do it too. Oh, huh. We didn't have a cow too long, you know, and the horse, so that, all, that was just very small. Mm -hmm. But I remember we had chickens, and a big vegetable garden. And you ate the chickens? I don't think so. I don't know. I think we had chickens for eggs. I don't mm -hmm. remember. But you don't remember uh, ever seeing a chicken killed? A chicken what? Yeah, no. Yeah, his head chopped off? No, I don't. Oh, I, I do. My mother do used to do that. Well, they probably did it, but I, I don't... Uh, yeah. Uh, I guess I was too squeamish. Well, I didn't watch very often, but I can remember it. So anyway, but I won't tell about it. But that. a little later, <laughs> then we, we had a, a lovely farm lady who came in every week with chickens and eggs and vegetables, used to come to the door here, mm -hmm. and I think her name was Mrs. Schrader, and I just mm -hmm. remember that so well. Were it's there any stores around where you got your regular supplies? The stores? Mm -hmm. Well, there was a store down here on the corner where the stop and go is now. What street is that? Uh, on, on Drake and Randall. Oh, Drake and Randall. And on Emerald Street there was a little store, I think, on uh, Bill Street someplace. And uh, and I think they used to call up and have groceries delivered. Mm -hmm. You know, Probably you had charge the, account. Probably the bigger they, stores. They delivered, yeah. Uh -huh. So mm -hmm. things were brought out. You didn't have to go and get them. Yeah, no, you didn't have to go. Mm -hmm. Well, you didn't have freezers in those days, but I oh, suppose no, they you had. did canning from the garden. Oh, yeah, they canned, and they, we had a good basement. With a, I was telling the other day, we used to have apples by the barrel. And they didn't spoil. If I buy apples, I have to keep them in the refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> we had barrel of apples, and we had a, a place where you could keep carrots. And I don't know, I think. And uh, pickles. Was this know, a part of your basement? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was know, a big basement. Do you know what they called it? Was it walled off? Little yeah, it was a coal yeah. cellar or something. Cold cellar, yeah. We used to call it the cooler, but yeah, that cold cellar. Different names of cold it. cellar, I think it was. Uh-huh. And you know, we had carrots. I think in sand. I can't even remember. But and uh, potatoes and uh, and potatoes and apples by the cabbage. barrel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All that stuff. Yeah, those things kept fairly well. Yeah, and as you see, it wasn't hot. It was. Mm-hmm. See, our basements are too warm. Oh, yes, and we don't have any dividers in them uh, to no. keep the heat out. Well, so um, you didn't have any activities going on at the synagogue besides just going to Sabbath, I suppose. Well, they de- there wasn't anything for the children. Oh, uh-huh. If they did have services, I, uh, but later on they had a Sunday school. Mm-hmm. Well, did you, um, uh, do you remember your graduation from grade school? A pretty big thing in those days. Wasn't yeah, I think, I think I think I had a white dress with a sash, blue sash. It was a pretty, I might have a picture someplace. Oh, uh-huh. Would have been a pretty long dress, wouldn't it? Almost to your ankles? Well, no, well, no, they were short. It was short. Uh-huh. I graduated grade school in 1916. High school in 1920, college in 24. Oh. I'll show you some pictures I have oh. out of me as a little girl. You might get a kick out of oh, it. Oh, yeah, I would. So you went um, to Central High then. Mm-hmm. And how did you get there? It was quite a ways, wasn't it? Well, I, you could walk, but it was far. But we had the streetcars. You would ride those mm-hmm. streetcars. And I had to go downtown on State Street for my music lessons, oh, too. Uh-huh. But to, I, I, we took the streetcar, I think. Yeah. And and uh, what sort of subjects did you take in high school? Well, French, world, uh, Latin. Latin, I took Latin, and English. We had wonderful teachers. In Madison Central High School, we had very good teachers. Oh, do you remember? The we had no men teachers in elementary school, but we had some men teachers in high school. Oh. Do you remember the teachers' names? Some of them. Well, let's see. My man teacher I had in English was Percy something. I can't remember his last name, but he was good. He was like some of our college teachers oh, of today. He was really inspired. Kind you. of from the east, someplace. And I don't think I had Miss Mosley. She was the outstanding, the teacher that was from the Mosley bookstore. Mm-hmm. The sister, she was a wonderful teacher. And uh, I can't remember if I had her. And we had a music teacher, and we had. Uh, I didn't play in the orchestra though. I didn't play the piano in the orchestra, but did you? Did I was always playing the Latin a, teacher. To tell you, I can't remember the Latin teacher's name. Is that funny? I haven't thought yeah, of her it. Her name was Miss Wilson. I, I only took Miss Wilson. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she was my teacher. Yeah, I've heard about her. Yeah, that's right. She was apparently very good. Too. Uh-huh, yeah, two years. I only had two years of Latin. Well, but now Emma Glenn's was teaching um German there about that. Yeah, well, I didn't take you German. Didn't take German, so you probably I took don't French. Mm-hmm. And you, where you were planning to go on to college? Oh, you know? sure. So you I was either going to go after graduation into music, and my teacher from Chicago, that I had a sh- teacher come here from Chicago, Victor Heinz, he took his class, some of them who could go to Germany that year, and I decided, that's when I decided to go to jur- in journalism. It was just too lonely to be a, to sit and practice by yourself oh. all day. I guess, and my mother agreed. She said, "That's all right if you want to, don't want to go on with music. That's all right." But I always took lessons, but I didn't take it. I took journalism as my college course. Now, had your mother gone to college? Oh no, and I'm not even sure she even graduated high school because she got married before she was 18. Oh, uh huh. I don't think she did. But graduate. it was just assumed that you would go on. Uh, oh yeah, well, Madison, there was no. Everybody went to college. (laughs) I mean, you know, Uh it's just, uh, well, education was very important Mm -hmm. to my parents. And did all your your, um, sisters and brother? uh, My sister was in art school. She was a very good artist. And then she went on to uh, Chicago Art Institute. My brother Jerome graduated law, and my brother Russell Medicine. Oh, yeah. So we all. And your cousins, too? They all. Oh, they all I think they're more Sinaikos graduated from Wisconsin than any other oh, name. Uh-huh. I mean, who I related uh-huh. outside of Smith or Jones or something. There's so many of them. Mm-hmm. They all went and graduated here. Well, there's a big. Because you could live at home and it oh, was no. Sure. And my tuition was $15 a semester. Oh. <laughs> and 
And did you live at home? Well, oh see. sure. You better wait till we get through high school here oh. first. Um, I um, let's see. Were you? Do you remember there being plays given in high school? Were oh were, yes, we had wonderful plays in high school. Were you ever in? No, I never was in dramatics. But you played the piano, I suppose, for some. Not program. really. I, I did. I was too involved other things that it was by music that I didn't really do anything with high school with the music. I, I didn't. See. All you did with piano would be uh, play the piano orchestra, but I didn't do that. Well, I Because I was always giving recitals because yeah, well, I, you know, I uh -huh. studied privately. But yeah. I remember the plays are wonderful. I I remember. Uh, so, so well, what some of them were. Uh, so you should interview her, uh, Judy Hanks, whatever her oh, name Julia is. Judy Hanks? Yeah. Because yeah. mm -hmm. she was always in the place. She oh. was where I was. And then we all took dancing lessons from Professor Kale. Oh, he he had on Johnson Street, he had oh, a place. Yeah. K E H L. Uh huh. He was a professor, as <laughs> he calls it. The, you know, the, the grandfather of these girls who uh -huh. I know. And, uh, but Judy Hanks was a marvelous dancer. And Eleanor Riley, did you talk to her? Who? Eleanor Riley, who had a soup sound restaurant. She was, Somebody, yeah, they were, list. see, they were three years ahead of me, but they were so marvelous. They were just marvelous in theater. We weren't sure that Julia Mailer had gone to school. Uh, this is side two of the interview with Edith Frank. Uh, were you aware in high school of a rather elite group who kept to themselves and were the well, I Leaders. suppose I suppose I were, but I was always by myself, so I, didn't, I was so busy that I really didn't uh, feel that out of anything. Who but I'm sure there were. Who I, did you go to uh, dancing school with? Oh, it was, uh, by, uh, it was a Saturday afternoon class by myself. But there were uh, boys there, too? Mm -hmm. I, yeah, there were boys, too. And what did you do Well, there? I think so. I, I took both kinds. They had social dancing, but I think I took the one that you had to be in recitals, you know, dance recitals with just girls. Oh, a little ballet you did? Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. So, but uh, I wasn't too talented, but <laughs> <laughs> the costumes were nice. You were always small, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, I was, I was very thin, too. And you didn't have long, graceful legs like you w wished you had, I'm sure. No, I'm, I'm, I'm five feet two, and that's what I was when I was in eighth uh -huh. grade. And in high school. Five That's tall two. enough for playing a piano anyway, isn't two, it? Yeah. Uh -huh. um, do you remember sports activities that, did you go to any of the basketball games or anything? Well, I suppose I did, but not as many as my sister used to go to, but she was real active in sports and interest. But I used to go to the football games. Oh. Yeah. The, we used Where were they held? Yeah, I don't even remember. <laughs> but the, I, all I can do now is the university football games. So we all went to football mm -hmm. games at the university. Uh, but I would I go to some of the football games. I they were at Stevens Field. <laughs> I, I can't even remember that. Mm -hmm. I don't think I went too often. Mm -hmm. uh, did you, you don't remember homecoming uh, celebrations and homecoming? In high school, I can't remember much about mm -hmm. that. But in, of course, university homecoming, I know. The, was Wisconsin High? It was, there, it was not then, but later, because my brother went there. Oh. It was my youngest brother went to Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. Mostly because my other brother was in college and the same vacations. My mother thought that would be very sensible. Oh. They'd have the same vacation. I see. Uh -huh. um, were you aware of any particular ethnic groups in high school? Everybody thinks I should have been aware, but you know, since I was a minority, but it never... Uh, I never even thought of it, but you I said guess that the Italians in town came later. Yeah, they came after. The, mm -hmm. Well, there were some already in Madison, but uh, not a lot like later. But uh, but in high school, I suppose I was a minority. But I know I was a minority, but it never bothered me. It never bothers me now. I never think of religion. But did most you? Um, I know when I was in high school, the the, um, the Jewish kids had certain days off to. No, I never was religious. I never oh, took I holidays off. You didn't have to do no, that. No, we didn't have any temple or anything to go to. So and you didn't mind if they had uh, Christmas stories? And oh, <laughs> no, that part. That part just, I, something just happened the other day. Somebody said something about something. And I sent a Christmas card on my station. I make a little Christmas wreath. And so they said, oh, well, Jewish people don't do that. I said, well, I do send. I have friends all over the world. I uh -huh. send Christmas cards. And 
oh, I don't know, it's in connection with something from the university that she showed by my little girl with the Christmas wreath on. But I see, I'm different uh -huh. than most people, I guess. Did the high school go over to the Capitol? It was finished about that time, wasn't it? Did the Glee Clubs go over and sing there? No, they didn't they? have that oh, then. Oh, that was much later. But I, I love Christmas carols, that doesn't matter. Music is music. Mm -hmm, true. Well, I suppose you don't remember what sort of clothes you wore in high school. Yeah, I remember a coat I had very well. Oh. It was a green coat with a little black silk collar. It was so cute. And I, I just remember that coat so well. A little tiny black. How long would it I'm been? not sure it was real sealer, just black velvet. Oh, and then uh, I don't think in high school I had a raccoon coat, but later in college I had a raccoon coat. Oh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Well, you still were wearing pretty long But we used there, to wear right? a sailor suit, a uh, naval suit, pleated skirt. Oh, yes. And with a bitty blouse. And we used to order them from Newport, Virginia, from the oh. supply store. And I had a, bli a checked one. It was gorgeous. I mean, I wish I had it now. It was so pretty. <laughs> and the blue ones, you had cotton, you know, for summer or winter. Mm -hmm. We wore those midi blouse dresses, and oh. the girls all ordered it from Newport, Virginia, from a naval supply store. Mm -hmm. Just they were regular navy. Uh, uh, outfits, well yeah. done, yeah. They were so oh. made beautifully. Yeah. And how did you wear your hair? You had brown hair, I think. I had blonde hair then. Oh, you were still well, blonde. I, had, I had long hair, but then I had it cut by when everybody had but hair. But not until the twenties. You probably. Uh, I can't remember when I had my oh, first uh -huh. hair. But probably. I was in the wondering 20s. if you wore braids or put it up when you were a young lady? Well, I was trying you to think to of my high school graduation picture. Our high school book was called Take Cobra. Oh, that's right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And uh, I, I know I, for that picture, I know I wore my tech bitty blouse suit. <laughs> but I don't remember how many. I think I wore, like, I wore it pinned back with a barrette in the back, oh, like, uh -huh. like what you call a ponytail now. I see. Uh -huh. Yes, that sounds like a schoolgirl mm -hmm. in those days. I think that's the way I wore it. Well, did you have boyfriends when you were in uh, high well, school? Well, not a one boyfriend, no. We, we, were, we were friendly with boys, but... Did you go to parties? Some. Mm -hmm. Did you have parties at your house? Or I always you? had company at my house, yeah. Uh -huh. I can't you? remember the high school days as much as the university mm -hmm. days, but... Mm -hmm. you know, well, so in those days, I had a lot of music, musical friends. They'd come play music and oh, sing and uh -huh. with their violinists, you know, saxophonists and... and uh, Things like that. Did yeah, now that I think that I did go to, they had dances uh, in summer at Esther Beach, you know, across mm -hmm. the lake, and one they and then they had a couple places in town for the students. Mm -hmm. They had mixers. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. After school. At, they had afternoon dances, I think, too, after school in high school. Mm -hmm. I can't remember if I went too often, but I guess. Who were some of the the other um, students you remember? You did say Walter Crouchy was one. Yeah, well, oh, here, I just g got this list of the class of 20. Another girl who took piano lessons with me, but now she can't see Mrs. Uh, what's her name? She doesn't live too far from you. Marjorie Mosel, her name was, before oh. she was married. Mm -hmm. And uh, we took piano lessons together. And uh, another person, Whitney Gould's mother, was in my class. Of course, she's not living. And she was played a serious musician too, oh, uh -huh. and journalist. And uh, and as I told you, Josephine Hersig Martin, you oh, could yes. mm -hmm. contact her. And uh, you said you had uh, Myron Stevens. But we had a good class of in high school, the class of 24 was very good. Who was the valedictorian, do you know? Yeah, I can't remember. I, Walter was our class president, so. Oh. He always has been our class president, <laughs> university too. Now you graduated from high school in twenty, didn't you? Nineteen twenty. Yes. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And so you were you were there during the war. Does it affect yeah. the students in any way that you know of? Well, the war was over nineteen eighteen. Well, mm -hmm. I suppose some of the boys went who were older. Mm -hmm. But I remember uh, Armistice Day with the parade and all oh. the excitement. I know they quit teaching German all of a sudden. Yeah, they never did take German, mm -hmm. but that was the reason, mm -hmm. one of the reasons. But I. Uh, so where was uh, commencement held? In uh, the auditorium there. Oh, uh huh. Mm -hmm. And did you wear caps and gowns then? No, I think we wore dresses. Oh. In high school we wore uh -huh. dresses. I don't remember what I wore. Probably white. Probably something. Probably. 
pretty with lace on it. Um, what did you do summers this time? I know you played the piano, but as a family, did you have take vacations and go anywhere? Or? Not much. I can't remember. We never went to traveling to faraway places. Just in those even days. in Wisconsin. Not far. We'd go to maybe around, surround, come home to sleep. So oh, we didn't take trips. Your father didn't take a couple weeks off. No, he he worked hard. He never took a vacation. And you didn't have a summer cottage then? Not then. We had it later. Yeah, because mm -hmm. a lot of people did, I know. Yeah, well, too bad we didn't have one up north. But we, later we had one across Lake Mendota. Oh. Mm -hmm. In the Maple Bluff area? No. Now where all those apartments are, uh, Sunrise Court, mm. where they have, was sold. In fact, we didn't sell. Along that Harbor Village area, is that what you mean? Yeah, further, a little further Island. out, yeah, mm -hmm. further I see. What, when you say later, when do you mean? Oh, we didn't have we didn't have it till my parents died. Oh, I see. And mm -hmm. the four of us bought it. Uh -huh. So you just uh, pretty much stayed at stayed home. Stayed at home, and uh, I used to go visit friends or when I was older, you know, and I'd go to my grandmother's, of course. But we stayed at home. I think I, I, can, I know I didn't go to any long trips. Like the kids do now, go to Europe and everything. No, we well, just I thought that. maybe you just drove up to northern Wisconsin. No, we didn't do okay. that. Uh -huh. Well, Milwaukee, of course. Uh huh. Well, so um, when you graduated from high school, you um, just planned to get ready to go to the university. In fact, I went to summer school after graduation. Oh, you did in Madison. That'd be a nice thing to do. Get used to it. And I recommended now, I recommended to my granddaughter who's graduating high school, I said, why don't you go to summer schools, get acquainted with the college and have her, it's easy, it's a vacation. I said, or come here for summer, it's so good here in summer. You went to the university yeah, for summer Wisconsin. school. What did you take there? Oh, I can't remember what I took in summer school. <laughs> Just something to uh -huh. get used to it. Uh -huh. Makes you feel grown up then. I'll get my transcripts sometime and look at it. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't got, because I've gone so many years. That's, then when I came back, I went to postgraduate, you know, for so many years. Did you um, get your clothes, buy your clothes, except for your midi blouses around When we were a little girl, this is something I think everybody did. We, a dressmaker used to come to the house for a week oh. and make our clothes. Or for, I don't know how many days. Dress. No, it was just even plain clothes, but she'd make our clothes. And your mother's clothes. Yeah, yeah. I suppose so. How about the boys? Probably not. I, pro I don't know. Probably some, I suppose. I don't know. I don't think so. But uh -huh. I remember the dressmaker. She used to make our clothes. Did she live at your house for that week then? I can't remember. Mm -hmm. But uh, But then I suppose you went, used the, the stores were all Yeah, the, way, the, the square. store. It was Ma not Manchester's. It was Keely Neckerman and Kestick mm -hmm. in those days. Had a nice and store. Burdick and Murray, was that Burdick there? and Murray, yeah. yeah. Those were the it two wasn't stores. Barron's then? No, that didn't come till later. Mm -hmm. Well, um, you But the big star was Kelly Neckerman oh. in Kesnick, which is the Kesnick family of today. What, do you remember going to uh, movies or plays down Yeah, I went square? to movies, and, I'd, and later on when I was older, I even went to the Fuller Opera House, had wonderful productions. Mm -hmm. What were the theaters then? The Fuller Opera House, where uh, I mean, where the movies were. Oh, the they had movies. Just, I think they had the Strad. I don't know. The, 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 there was in the early days. I think there was a neighborhood movie. It seemed to me there was a neighborhood movie. But we used to go downtown to the movies. It was they were silent movies then. Yeah. Oh, sure. And pretty cheap. Yeah. Children, maybe fifteen cents. I suppose <laughs> yeah. I don't even don't oh, even yeah, remember. Uh -huh. Saturday afternoon, you'd go to oh. a movie. That's when we went. Didn't mm -hmm. go at night. Mm -hmm. Saturday afternoon, mm -hmm. I was little. I had the adventures. Had cereals and stuff. Yes. You know. uh -huh. <laughs> was it pearls? Pearls of Pauline. Yeah, Pearls yeah. of Pauline. <laughs> oh well, so um, your your younger um, sisters. You had one, one sister, sister and two one brothers. Sister and two brothers. They yeah. were going to high school when you were, I suppose. I was a senior when my fresh, sister was a freshman. Oh, uh -huh. And I was out before my brother came in. Oh, uh-huh. And your mother was still busy with her community Oh, activities. yes, till the very end. She just... Right around that time was when the, uh, they passed that amendment for the women's suffrage, wasn't it? Yeah, well, I remember uh, 
Uh, they, she, I remember her parading, and uh, then they saw the League of Women Voters. She was, I think she was vice president at one time of the League. I remember a picture of her later when you would know. Anna Lord Strauss was president. No, I didn't know her. You didn't know her. That was, but that was later than mm -hmm. I was already married by that time. I was in the 20s. Anna Lord Strauss was the president. Mm -hmm. And I was president of the Charleston League of Women Voters. I was on three state boards. And uh, I went to the convention in Chicago, and then she, that must have been the Wisconsin State Convention. And they had a big picture of Anna Laura Strauss with my mother on the front page. Oh. I remember that picture so. Oh. Those days they gave women's activities a lot of space in the mm -hmm. papers. Oh, no, yes, and a lot of the social anything. page, yeah. then, too. Uh -huh. But uh, clubs were. Well, where did you uh, live while you were at the university? Home. And you walked or took a streetcar back and forth? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And it wasn't you, too far to walk. You decided to um, uh, go into journalism, you said. Yeah, I wanted something with, I don't think I was such a talented writer or anything, but I wanted something that would get me out of being by myself. Mm -hmm. And journalism was the most interesting thing. So mm -hmm. I, I was in journalism when uh, Professor Blyer was the head of it. I've been taking journalism under every head. Oh, really? <laughs> That's up to today. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm still, you know, I still take a class if there's something I can take in journalism oh, school. Okay. You still go to journalism. Mm -hmm. But I've had everything yeah. by now. No, so I mean, you didn't join a sorority, you said? No. And uh, uh, there were quite a few girl students, weren't there, at that time? Where did they stay? The students at Wisconsin? Girls, the girl students. Well, some of the Chadburn was there. That was the only big dormitory that I know of. but. I had friends who lived in Chadburn, but a lot of girls, they had a lot of rooming houses on Langdon, mm -hmm. on Murray, all those streets were rooming houses. Mm -hmm. had, what had university rules, they had to comply to be in at 10 o'clock and all those oh, things. Yes. And where did you go to register? Do you remember? Oh, registration wasn't such a big problem as it is today. <laughs> I mean, there, there weren't too many, many students. Yeah, there weren't too many students either. I think still, maybe in the Red Gym, I can't remember. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> it might have been there. And you mentioned the administration building. Well, that's where you paid your fees. Mm -hmm. Park. A little tiny, one-story building. Park University. Uh -huh. And Park and uh, uh -huh. Langdon on the corner. There were some big apartment houses right behind there. I remember the Varsity and a couple of others. Yeah, well. The, that where students lived. I yeah, think. they had, but the okay. students didn't really live by them in the apartment houses in those days. Mm -hmm. Faculty. And maybe graduate students, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, who was the president uh, when you were there? Uh, Burge. Oh. Was he pretty well thought of? Well, he was pretty elderly. I don't. I don't think he was so old. Now, but we, you know, he has white hair and white mustache. He was pretty elderly. I had no contact with him at all. Where were your classes held? The J, J School. Mm -hmm. Our South Hall. Oh. I've been in every building with the journalism oh. school. Uh -huh. South Hall. Then they moved over to. Uh, then when I came back to graduate school, they were over where the Helen White Library is, the old mechanical engineering, the art building. And they moved over to Henry Mall, where the Wisconsin High School was. And now, of course, they're in their own building there, mm -hmm. Vilas Communications. So I've, I've been in every building in journalism school, too. <laughs> Did you enjoy the school right from the beginning? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you must have had to take some basic courses, too. Oh, sure. I took a lot of English and history and mm -hmm. political science. Any more language? Spanish. Oh. Mm -hmm. So who were some of your other teachers? In journalism or other places? Where any of the Julian? Oh, well, Key Kefer for economics. Oh, you know, uh -huh. everybody took him. And history professors. I had Bob Reynolds' father. He, he, was, a, well, he was a student teach, uh, student uh, assistant. I remember him more than the professor, and I can't remember who the professor was in that American history, I think. Oh, I know, uh, Kyle Russell Fish. Oh, yes. And his wife was a singer, and mm -hmm. she had to sing for some organization my mother belonged to, and she, I accompanied her. Oh, so she was, uh -huh. they had a cute little house on, off of Langman Street, mm -hmm. a darling house. I was wondering if you kept up your music all through university. Yeah, but I was go not at the university. The only musical course I took at the university was organ. But you were still playing. But I was home. taking a Chicago from a professor who came from Chicago, oh, Chicago wow. uh, yeah. music. I always took lessons, because if you don't take lessons, you don't practice. That's right. Uh -huh. Well, so um, 
you found the, the courses um, reasonably difficult? Well, I wasn't a straight-A student by any means, but I had a good enough average to go to graduate school. I think oh. you have to have a B average, mm -hmm. so I could go to so graduate school. So you enjoyed school. it? Oh, yeah, I like school. And who were some of your friends that you palled around with? Oh, mostly people from out of, you know, quite a few girls from Milwaukee. Oh. Mm -hmm. Then when vacation come, I'd go visit them. Mm -hmm. And they were always at our house, too. And, uh, and did you, uh, uh, were you dating when you were? Oh, in? yeah. Mm -hmm. Remember bad. any of the boys you went with? Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> any local ones? Madisonians? Uh -huh. Oh, no. Yeah. Those were ones you met in class? And all. Yeah, mostly from. Uh -huh. uh, just get to know them. Mm -hmm. So you'd go to movies or dances? or? Well, they had dances and they had. There used to be a dance place on State Street. I can't remember the name of it, but you'd go on. They had dances. Uh, we didn't have a union then. And they had the, like the uh, military ball was at the Capitol. Mm -hmm. They had at the Capitol. They don't have, wouldn't dare have a military ball now, would they? <laughs> <That's nice>. <coughs> <coughs> They'd be picketed. And that must have been exciting. Yeah, yeah. you dressed up and it was like prom. Mm -hmm. What sort of, of, do you remember what kind of dress you'd wear? That, that Ordinary when, dresses or? When, to parties, because the short dresses, shorter dresses. Well, the dresses were, were longer at the time. Mm -hmm. You know, the lengths changed, mm -hmm. you know. Right about then. Well, I think in uh, 1920, 1923 or four, uh, before I graduated, 24, 1923 going, the dresses were kind of long because I could see some pictures I had. Oh, uh -huh. They were kind of long. But then you, did you have your hair cut while you were still at university? Oh, yeah. yeah. But I, but everybody when they had their hair cut, they had a what they called a switch. They had it done by the beauty parlor, whoever cut your hair, and they made it so in case you wanted to wear it, you could wear it. Oh. <laughs> but then my hair got so dark and the, the switch was so light, I couldn't wear it anyway. Oh. But I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> but it's, oh, it was real hair, though. Yeah, wasn't it was it? real hair. The but switch. everybody seemed to that didn't cost much, and they, you know, combed it out and had it tied at one end, and then you just could put it. Make a bun or something mm -hmm. in the back. Mm -hmm. No, I think my sister had that a That was interesting. I can yeah. remember it, now that you mentioned it. Um, did you go um, boating, particularly? No, I never I never did the outdoor things. I still didn't. Wasn't there dancing over in Esther Beach? Yeah, Esther Beach, we used to go there. Mm -hmm. well, you but go we by drive by car. Oh, you drive. I but I remember going on some of those boats that they had, a passenger boat. Mm -hmm. Worker, I think it was worker. Boat company. Boat company. Oh. Mm -hmm. Did you go out to Picnic Point at all, or was that sometimes, but not uh, not much. In later days, they did that more. The Ag Campus was there, wasn't it? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. But you probably didn't have much contact with them. No, there was uh, the horseback. Well, later on, I went horse. I did go horseback riding as well. That, that's where the horseback paths were along mm -hmm. the willows. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the willows were there, and mm -hmm. I guess they had crew and yeah, they had crew football games. You went to the football games. Yeah, I had gangs would go to that. Mm -hmm. That was fun. Oh yeah. Was the field house there? Did they have basketball games? I don't think so. I think they played basketball in the gym. Oh. Mm -hmm. But a f well, interesting thing about when I was younger, I just recall the red gym. The, the Minneapolis Symphony would come here once a month, and the next month the Chicago Symphony would come with the wonderful Frederick Stock and wonderful conductors. They'd have after school children's concert at the Red Gym, four o'clock, and uh, very few would go from each school, but my mother always had me go, of course. Mm -hmm. And that was really wonderful. Mm -hmm. I remember the gorgeous orchestras. Nobody mentions that anymore. I don't think anybody remembers that. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if they came for more than one year or not, because but, I, they, but we had it in the Red Gym. Mm -hmm. uh, was the Stock Pavilion there then? Did they have Well, the Stock Pavilion then? was there, but I don't think they had any. They didn't have I don't concerts, know where they right? had the big concerts mm -hmm. for the grown-ups, because I went to the children's concerts. Oh, uh -huh. Well, they probably had some at the Fuller Opera House, too, didn't they? Well, I can't remember any concerts being there. 
And maybe they had the concert in the Red Gym that night. I don't know, because but that's where we the went. The music hall wasn't really oh. big enough. Was no, it? that was too small. Mm -hmm. So I wonder what auditorium they had. Of course, the Capitol Theater was there. In the Orphan Later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, that'd be interesting to find out. But mm -hmm. maybe it was in the gym. Maybe there. I think that's because that's where acoustics we, there. Yeah, that's where we have the children's concerts. Mm -hmm. But it was to think those Biafras two orchestras. Oh yeah. That's I don't know, and I don't know if the university must have had them. I don't know whether what auspices mm -hmm. it was. And uh, so you graduated in 1924. Mm -hmm. And I got married the very next day. Well, where did you meet your husband? He was here at engineering school. Oh, I see. But I didn't meet him till he was uh, till his last year, school. Oh. In your last year, was he in your same Oh uh, No, he would graduate the year before me. Oh, I see. Then he got a job in the refinery, and uh, I had to go to Chicago to get married. He couldn't even take a day off to get married. How did you meet him? Just on campus? Well, I knew his sister. Oh, She I was see. on, she stayed at Chadburn. Another matchmaker. Mm -hmm. No, I just knew him. And just, uh, uh -huh. We met him. And so did you go to uh, um, parties and... Dances with him for well, I didn't meet him till the six months before he graduated. Oh, I see. But didn't so, he have a chance to come back and go to prom and things with you? No, he didn't. Well, he was he couldn't take time off like the people do now. Oh. But he did come one a couple times to Madison. Did you go down for the homecoming fest festivities on campus? I oh, I can't remember. I suppose so. I can't I remember. I heard about the big bonfires. And mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember. They, and in the early days, they had the tug of war on the lower campus between the engineers and the law students. And mm -hmm. All that, I remember all that. So you took part Oh, in yeah, I was activity. very much involved in it. Mm -hmm. Not uh, as much as I, you would be if you live on campus, because mm -hmm. I came home every day. But, but I was always... Did you have to I, go down to the library to study it? Yeah, I studied a lot at the... It was in the historical society in those days. Oh yeah, well, it's always hard work. You know, have to study if you're going to get through. Yeah, well, I never minded that. You didn't have to do housework and things though at home. No, I didn't have to do yeah, that. That was good. And I didn't work outside. My husband earned his way through school, but that's why he. But. Uh, and you didn't have to come home. I didn't work or any place. Mm -hmm. I did teach the piano. Oh. I did do a little piano teaching. Uh -huh. In the summer, I suppose. No, in. But in the year, oh. mm -hmm. not a lot. I mean, I, maybe I had eight students or six students, but just a few. It sounds like you had a pretty good time at the well, university. Not the way the, the youngsters do now. Oh no, not quite. But I think you enjoyed yourself. More oh yeah, I, I have very fond memories, and it didn't bother me. I lived at home. You didn't. You didn't um, go to the the taverns and that sort of thing. No, it they was dry. They, well, some of the, you know, some of my friends, they'd go to Middleton's where you could get, wow. but I wasn't in that scene at all. Mm -hmm. And some of my friends want to stay out late and not get in it. They'd come over and stay at my house overnight. Mm -hmm. But I really didn't have those rules, you see, because I lived at home and I wasn't that social. <laughs> oh yeah, that's always fun to stay at a house where you can stay out later. But I had lots friends who would come and stay overnight with at our house. So your husband's name was, was David. David, David mm -hmm. and he was from Sparta, Wisconsin. Oh, he's from Sparta. Born in Sparta. Mm -hmm. I see. And then he got a job with oil company. After he graduated. Mm -hmm. In fact, I typed his, it uh, wasn't really a thesis, but it was like a thesis. I typed it for him because <laughs> he worked so hard oh, to yeah. earn his way through school. Uh -huh. And so when did you, you plan to get married? The day after graduation? Uh -huh. I wasn't going to look for a job, and so I thought, well, we only had one car. I'll tease my sister and brothers. I said, we only had one car, and I was older, so I got a chance to have it. So I, they could have first, so they could have the car. <laughs> but uh, oh, he was living in a rooming house, and he wanted to get married. What would you have done if you hadn't gotten married? Well, I would have looked for a job. In journalism? Mm hmm But they were, they were, they were hard, kind of hard to get That's right. uh -huh. in those days. It was. The Depression was coming along. It wasn't like 1930, but... I suppose quite a lot of young ladies got married right after school. Yeah, they, I wasn't the only one. Mm -hmm. And where were you married? What kind of wedding? In Chicago. I didn't have any wedding. Oh. My, I, my co cousin of mine was going to drive me to Chicago because Dave could only get a half a day off to get married. <laughs> he was afraid to ask for more. 
and uh, then my mother and father just decided to come along, so that oh. was nice. Oh, you got sort so of cheated out of a wedding then. Well, that you? was all right. We just got married. Uh-huh. Where? Well, it was very funny. I, we came to Chicago. I don't really like this on the tape, but I don't care. Uh, we checked into the popular hotel with the Madisonians. In those days, it was the Morrison Hotel, right on Madison Street. Mm -hmm. No longer there. And uh, we checked in there, and then my husband met us there. We went to the, the uh, city hall where you get a license. We was across the street, but we didn't know that. We took a cab. But he didn't say it's right across the street. It's right around the block, you know. And then that was the Illinois license. And then he lived. He worked. He lived in East Chicago, Indiana. See where the refinery it was. It wasn't South Chicago. It was East Chicago. South Chicago is Illinois. And we went there to see the little apartment he rented because we were, the next day we were going to go and buy some furniture and things for the place. And uh, just a one-room apartment, and uh, no bedroom or a kitchenette and a bathroom, and a, a living room with a, I guess they had a hide a bed, and uh, an inner door bed they called in those days. And then a Murphy bed. Murphy bed, yeah. So then uh, we thought we went to the to look for a rabbi in Gary, no, in Hammond, which is right there, which they have a very nice temple. He said you can't use this license because it's Illinois. So he said, but just drive a few miles, you'll be in South Chicago, and there's a rabbi in South Chicago. And it started to pour, and we found the place where this little rabbi was, an Orthodox one of all people. And I'm sure he thought it was a shotgun wedding. First, oh. It was pouring rain. But he buried us. Then we went back to Chicago. And your parents were still with you? Yeah, they were staying uh -huh. the next day. What about day. his parents? His parents were in Sparta. Oh. They didn't come. We did. In fact, I didn't originally even expect my parents to come. Mm -hmm. My cousin was taking me, and uh, so that was funny. Then we bought this what I needed. We knew what would fit, and uh, then they went home the next day. And then I went to East Chicago. And, you and I then I realized East Chicago. I didn't have to live there. I could move to Chicago to the South Side. Uh -huh. So then, in a few months, I moved to Chicago. Where I and was able to be in, in and you the, were there for how many years before you went to Virginia? Well, Virginia? 1924 to 42. Oh, we lived on the South Side near the University of Chicago. So you had your children there. I only had one child. Only one. Mm -hmm. She was born in 1930. And what did you say her name is? Suzanne. Suzanne. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But she been married. She got married uh, before she graduated, but then she. Uh, Came back. She only needed one semester. She came back to two summer schools, got her degree. Because I said, oh, you can get married, but you've got to get your degree. Mm -hmm. Which she well, did. did you um, do anything with your journalism in those days? Oh, no, all volunteer. Because they wouldn't hire anybody if we were married uh -huh. those days. Mm -hmm. it was very, but I did an awful lot of public relations and publicity for every organization, you name it. And uh, especially the league. Mm -hmm. I did the state league publicity. And, and because uh, we had a very good league in South Shore. You joined the and AUW. League of voters right yeah, away. Yeah, right away. Of course, my mother was so active. Sure. And, and AUW, I joined that. I was active in that. And mm -hmm. the music, a lot of music oh, groups yeah. and yeah. art groups. Oh, yeah. And you kept up your music. You didn't have a piano there, though. Oh, I had a little piano. That was the money I got for graduation. We went and bought a piano in Hammond, a little one. Oh. And then I didn't take this big piano until I was in a bigger, mm -hmm. big enough house mm -hmm. to put it in. So you continued to play. I right? sent my little piano to my mother. Well, then I had another grand, a small grand, and then she sent this to me on the same truck. It was very so. This piano's been around, and now it's back where it right where it came from. Mm -hmm. So I had to have it redone, of course. Oh, that's beautiful. But it's an awful old well, piano. Well, so you had a very active, pretty liberated uh, kind of existence. Without yeah. having a paid job, I, I really. Uh, you did a lot of good things. And I uh, mm -hmm. kept very, very busy. Used your mind and your talent. and uh, Well, it, and even when Charleston, I was only there three years, if, if, if they find you're a willing volunteer, they, you're just overwhelmed. I was even a Girl Scout leader because yeah. <laughs> they couldn't get anybody. And uh, head of the whole community fund drive with all the, and three, I was only there three years, and I had all kinds of, it was wartime, you know. Oh, recruited, during the war. yeah, recruited for wax and for nurses, and yeah, you know, did the civilian defense. I did the fingerprinting charge of that, 
But you know, when you well, then I went to Toledo, I got into the same. When you oh, get yeah. on the state board of the sure, Ohio yeah. League, and I was on that, and I was there six years. I was on the board of the music. So see, you know, if they yeah, find all one, glad to have you come to because town, if somebody's right? really, and I was young, and I was ready to work, you know. And then of course when I moved back to Chicago, I was home again. Well, did you and your husband take um, do any traveling? Was, no, we only went to visit my daughter in oh. Salvador on his vacation. And that's why when he passed away and we had planned so many trips, that's why I went right away on trips. Oh, uh -huh. Mostly with the University Extension. I see. So, and but then, all over the... And he died quite suddenly, you said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then um, you came back to... Uh, I had this another operation coming on, and so I, I had an eye operation. I had cataracts. That were supposed to be done in Chicago, but then my other operation took precedence. So my daughter thought I should move to Madison. Where was your daughter at that time? In San Salvador. Oh, that's right. Yeah, she, she was married in 1950. You said she met this uh, at Wisconsin in, mm -hmm. in the university and finished her degree and then went right to San Salvador. Well, she went before she finished her degree, oh. but she came back for two summer schools oh, uh -huh. and took the correspondence course because she promised me she'd get her degree. I bet you were sorry to have her go so far away. Oh, it was far, but yeah, I had my husband then, and, I uh -huh. wasn't, and then we'd go there, and she'd come here, and she had her children in Chicago, oh, stayed uh -huh. with me and had her children there. Uh -huh. And uh, so I had her for three months while she had the babies. Mm -hmm. So you came back to Madison to the... Back to my primary roots. Yes, right to the same area. Well, I didn't, uh, the, I couldn't find a place to live, that's why I built this house. But the neighborhood is very good, don't you think? This neighborhood oh, yes. has stayed very nice. I should say it is. It's a nice house. <coughs> Being inner city, more or less, you know. It, mm -hmm. But it needs watching. Uh, did you find Madison quite changed when you came back? I didn't have any old friends. Oh. <laughs> All of my friends are new. Hmm. Maybe one or two, I mean. But it had gotten in. built up quite a bit. Oh, time, yeah, it's it? changed. But it's the same to me around here, the downtown. And and the atmosphere is pretty much the same. Yeah, the same. I, it's uh, always had a non-provincial way of uh, mm -hmm. sort of funny cultural things. And the, with, with the things. Uh, academic community. And yeah, with the university, it wouldn't be the same, of course. Mm -hmm. That's why I went right back to school to do graduate work. And you, you went, did you get a graduate degree then? No, I didn't finish it, but I did the thesis for my professor. Oh. I did what he wanted for his book. <laughs> well, if he, in journalism, I didn't do it. I should have really probably gone into music school. With my, I was in music school too, though, here. Oh. I studied with Johansson, and then I took chamber music. And, mm -hmm. and now I go for nothing <laughs> as a guest student. Well, you uh, uh, have belonged to a lot of organizations here, too. Oh, you? yeah, many. And I keep my affiliations in Chicago, too. Oh, name a few. Here? Mm -hmm. Well, any of them you mentioned. It. <laughs> well, of course, I got involved with the State Historical Society uh -huh. because of that. And I was on the Civic Center Commission for many, a long, a long time from the beginning. And I belonged to the arts groups and the music groups. And, the, and here, your group. Yes. I don't get to it. You were in I was the Ty Cobra. Ty Cobra board, I remember. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Well, one well, of the charter members of that. Well, that's just about as busy as you can be. I oh, would guess. yeah, I could go every day to a meeting. And I know you go to all the concerts. Well, the concerts I, I go to. Art receptions and things. Not all of them, but there are too many now. Were you on the Civic Center board back when they were considering the Frank Lloyd Wright? Board? I didn't live here then. Oh, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Well, that's too bad. Yeah, that was. Well, it, made a it, wouldn't, yeah. it wouldn't have done any good, I don't think, because there are so many. There were people who were on the so much for Frank Lloyd Wright, which I would have been a two, of course, <coughs> but like Dr. Potter. But he joined, he was on the Civic Center. I'm on the foundation, too, that had to raise the money. Uh -huh. And I'm still on that. And I'm not on the commission anymore, because usually they're only on for three years, and I was on for th three terms. <laughs> but, uh, and he said, well, if you couldn't have the other, you might as well. And I, I thought this was a very good solution. I'm very. Well, it, it was a solution. In fact, I was one of the. I was on the Art Center board at that time, uh, and I thought, gee, that would be a wonderful place for the Art Center, and the Civic Music to have the 
out of the Capitol Theater. That was that was one. I, of, I was one of the first people mm -hmm. to think of that type of place. Yeah. I think it's a wonderful place. Art Center has worked out very well. Yeah, now. very well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're going to go on in all your organizations? Well, for I reasons. don't have time to go to the league. Or, or I go to a few things, the AUW, but I still belong. I go, but I, I don't, I'm not, a, I'm learning to say no to things, too. My, you stay but the here, young ones do it. You stay here during the winter? Yeah, I never go. I, there's a lot going on. You could go to Sarasota now. <laughs> I could have gone, but I didn't go. <laughs> you're too I, busy. I was going to go, but it was always the wrong time, you oh. know. Well, you probably get there sometime, and uh, these severe winters, it's kind of uh, Well, this winter, nice uh, this away. winter, the icy streets were worse than any, mm -hmm. but I use a lot of taxis, mm -hmm. and uh, and if, if I go with friends, now tomorrow I don't go with anybody to the trip I'm going to, so I can take a taxi mm -hmm. out to Hildale, or, but the, uh, but you usually go with somebody who has a, I buy two tickets for all the concerts. So oh. I take somebody. Oh. I didn't think there could be, you could, everything was two by two when I first moved here. I thought, you have to buy two tickets. How can you buy one ticket, you know? I was so used to. So you I didn't realize husband. you could get just one. Well, I just, just life isn't one by one. It's oh. two by two, you know, like the Noah's Ark. So I, I but I, because most of my friends don't have season tickets. And I, and they all have cars with it. But I don't mind now. I'm going to the Academy tomorrow night. Thursday, Friday night. I'm going alone. I'm going to the. I want to go to the dinner. The Wisconsin, Wisconsin Academy. Wisconsin Academy. So, oh, so I thought, well, who do I need? Because you can call a cab from the conference mm -hmm. hotel. Mm -hmm. yeah, but oh, I took. Right. I'm taking somebody to the Madison Civic Orchestra Saturday night, and she has a car. So. Well, it sounds to me like you have a very, a solution. very full and interesting. Uh, no, and and. and uh, Busy life. No, but you know, all these people that interview me from the university geriatrics, they're writing papers. Uh -huh. I, some of them have been pretty awful, some of those questions. But uh, they said, uh, loneliness, isn't that your worst problem? I said, oh, heavens no. My first problem is your health. Mm -hmm. The second is that you have enough money to live on. Mm -hmm. And the third to me is transportation. Oh. You know, especially for grocery mm -hmm. shopping and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But uh, you could. You can overcome those. Well, things. I think you've managed those very well. But, uh, mm -hmm. but, I fir but health is really the first problem. Mm -hmm. I think it's with most people. But loneliness, I never. Gee, you should have enough inner resources to keep you busy. Well, I think there are people who are lonely, but they don't have your background and your... your well, you have to have the interest in, mm -hmm. in widening your horizons. That's what I have to tell. A cousin of mine now just sort of, she's been in Florida all winter, and she can't drive a car anymore. She's older than I am. I said, well, just, yeah, I've been without a car for 22 years. You'd be surprised. You can manage, <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. But it, it, it's hard. Well, I think it's, I'm not sure that this is true, but that Madison is a little bit easier than some places to manage. To get around. Things aren't so far away. And you can, it's a small enough city so you can get to know quite a few people. But, of course, in Chicago, I expect you manage, too. Well, I had so many friends from organizations. Mm -hmm. Some of them, you know, we worked together. Many of my best friends were from the League, of course, mm -hmm. in Chicago. Well, <coughs> a busy a mind that functions and that you but can you, still you, think you, with is You so just important. can't uh, be in a little rut. You have to. Well, I don't know what's going on in the world. and If you look at my pictures, you see I like modern art. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not mm -hmm. having mm -hmm. pictures of the... Uh, Greek statues or anything. <laughs> you have to know what's going on, you know, in the world. And uh, if you don't, uh, was your father in organizations too, or did not he, too many? It was mostly but your he was mother a, who was. But he was a wonderful husband. Uh -huh. But he let her do anything she wanted. Uh -huh. And my husband was, well, he was in organizations. Oh, he was in professional organizations. Oh. Mm -hmm. but, but he was very active in the Society of Mechanical Engineers uh -huh. nationally and all those things. And uh, American Petroleum Association, you know, had offices and stuff. And so he had, he had conventions and meetings and conferences. But but he he didn't mind me doing these things. And in Chicago, when Suzanne was little, I, if I had a when she I I I I had help too. Then in those days, you could get help. 
But uh, on the day that I couldn't have help, I'd get a sitter for mm -hmm. Suzanne, mm -hmm. so I could go to my mm -hmm. activities. Because you have to do it when you're young. You can't wait till you're 65 years old to say, now I want to know how to play bridge, or now I want to volunteer. It's very hard. You have to do these things when you're young. Don't you think so? Well, true, but I wouldn't put it past you to start anything you want to do <laughs> right well, now. Well, new projects, yeah. <laughs> But these things, like uh, Historic Madison, I don't get to very often, because I did really don't know where to go to the, the night meetings. They don't have very many meetings. I think. Yeah, I know.